would work into the possibility of dropping over into a slightly different form of the back bend that you just did. Now, to do this, you have to start near the rear of your mat, so you have some traction up there in the front. But essentially, you take the headstand by first placing your elbows about on pit distance wide. And after that, you interlace the hands. Now, if you kind of turn your little fingers toward the face a little bit, you can use your hands like a wedge by just jamming your hands under the space between the head and the floor itself. After you've drawn your elbows down, you basically lift to this tripod position, and in whatever way it is that you go up to the top, you take your headstand. Now, at the end of it, the somewhat sketchy part of it is to press your belt buckle into the middle of the room as the legs bend. As that middle back starts to arch, then at some point you teeter-totter over and you land it on the floor down there. Now to get out is the question of the day. To do that, you kind of lift up to your tiptoes, you have to balance on your head for a second, and then you can press all the way down and recline on the back. I'm very thankful that I'm still breathing and alive, so we'll call this <laughs> <laughs>